creation in GIMP. Now you can use any program you like, Inkscape. I've had some good luck with Serif Draw Plus Starter Edition, which is free. And in my previs here, I did. A, I need the back of We've Rocket. Lost so how I created Rocket was I. Um, I'm not a. I'm not a very good artist. So I created Rocket by basically tracing over him. And the way I did that is using the path tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do his head. So I'm just going to click around him. And then I use control and click the left mouse button to close the path. And then I can use control and the left mouse button and then create a new point. And then what I could do is I can use this and doing it this way actually creates nicer curves. And you shift and you shift control delete to get rid of the uh, pass. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring this down here. And the reason why I want this is this is gonna this the head is gonna go um, when we animate it on Synfig is gonna be on a layer below his suit. So what we want to do is we want to have some extra so that when he tilts his head left or right, it um, doesn't show any um, any gaps behind his suit. So I also usually name my paths and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stroke the path so what I do is I create a layer group and I call it whatever I'm using and then I create some uh, layers under that and what I do is I create a color layer and then I create a, a line layer And then I come in and I stroke the path. And I find three, depending on the size of your picture, is good. And as you can see, it's stroke the path. And now what I can do is I can come back in to my rocket and I can pick a color for his hair, say. And then what I do for coloring is I get this fuzzy selection tool and I select the lines and because of the anti-aliasing it's not exactly right up to the line so then I do Alt S and G for grow and I grow the selection and I go down to the next layer I get my bucket fill tool shift B and then I paste it and then it fills it in but now I'm gonna quickly continue doing his body so I'm gonna create a new layer group called suit and then continue going through making a color layer and a, a lines layer. And I'm going to put the suit, I'm going to move this above his head because we want the suit to go over his head. So we're just going to get rid of his head for a second and then we're going to come back and we're going to draw around his suit. Uh, I'm only going to do this top part of the rocket because that's all I need him for. And then we use the control and the left mouse button click to put in the other parts here. To shape the suit. Now, we can continue, we can continue adding paths to this suit. We just do start off with a, a shift and then we can just continue clicking. 
and then we use control to close it. Now we can't continue from here, but what we could do is we could start a new one. And we go around. And we don't want to touch the other ones just because it'll reselect those lines. But what we could do is move this up to actually touch those lines. And then what that does is when we do our stroking the path, then it actually puts that line there. So I'm going to start again and do this. Uh, come in and move that to there, move that to there. I'm going to need to close this off. Oops. And the reason why you want to close it off is you want some, when you're going to select an area, you don't want it to bleed outside. So you might find that you haven't closed off all the color areas. Start a new line, just do the shift. And we're going to bring that, oops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually close it upon itself, and then I can just drag them out here, and get rid of these two, and then I can use these guys to pretty much make it round. You don't want to go bend them back like that. You want it to go like this. You'll pretty much almost get something round as long as they're not bent back, because when they get bent back, does it look good? I want to pretty much keep it straight and you almost create a perfect circle like that. And then we're just going to come in here and just do these little bits. Okay, now we're going to color it. So we do that the same way as we did uh, the head. It's just a little bit more difficult. We have different more, more colors. So what we do is we go back to our suit and we want to stroke the path. So we want to have black here. So we say stroke path. As you can see that that's got the path. It's put our colors in. And then basically it's the same as before. We pick the colors that we want. And then we use a selection tool, grow the selection, use the paint bucket tool, and paint it up. Now you can use a selection tool to select similar areas. As you can see here, I haven't done closed that off. So I'll go back to the suit, go to my path tool, and I need to draw another path in here. So close this off. Right about there, move that over to there. Let's use my black again, go back to my lines, stroke the path. Now, when I come in, use my selection tool, I get that area that I want, and then I can come in and select these areas too. And I'm going to need this right color so I can come in. Take the color out of the suit, grow the selections, grow the selections, choose the layer, get the bucket tool, paint in. Now we'll do that for all the other sections. We'll do that for his jacket. Here and here. Grow the selection. Pick a color. Go to the color layer. 
Just got a, one more to do. Let's shift and select. When you're selecting multiple parts, you select the first one and then use the shift and select. And then you can grow the path again. And then we come in and pick a color. Pick the layer and use our bucket fill. Then we can bring in our head. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Eventually, when we animate, we're going to want to export out each portion as a different image. And the way we could do that is we can select the group, and we're going to do Control C for copy, and then do Shift Control V to paste to a new image. And then we go to image, and then we will go auto crop image. And that will make the image smaller. And from there, you can export your image as, say, head, and bring it um, in as different parts in Synfig. So we'll go back to the body, the suit, and we can do Control C, and then Control Shift V, and then image, auto crop image. And then we could also export that out. As a, now I recommend exporting them out as PNG so you don't lose any quality. And that pretty much wraps up. And as you can see here, I've done a different one. I've, I've gone in and I've actually done the arms. Um, and I've created different paths for each one, just in case I need to come in and modify the path at some point, which I find is a pretty good way of doing it.